welcome back to the channel and today we have got something special in store for you you just asked for it and we have deliver that's right we are diving deep into the world of ios 17.0.2 and we are putting its battery life to the test as we have received countless requests from our awesome viewers and we are here to answer your burning questions we know that totally relay on your iphone day in and day out and the battery life is a hot topic so does the ios 17.0.2 live up to its promises will your device last longer or is it there a surprising drain learning beneath the surface so it's going to be an electrifying ride through the world of ios 17.0.2 bear to life we are ready to get started and hope you are too without wasting any time as usual the brightness is to almost 50 percent and the volume is around 10 percent all of them has been updated to the latest ios 17.0.2 and we are also using the wi-fi network as they are sim free before diving in just make sure to hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos now we will be using all these applications each for one hour at the end of this video i'll be showing you the battery health of each iphone so just be patient enjoy the music and i'll be right back
Welcome back. We are done with the thrilling battery life train test and let's have a quick look into the battery life and battery's health of each iPhone model. So the iPhone XR were first to die and the reason is it has only 82% battery health and it should be clear if you are getting the iPhone XR with around 80% battery health in 2023 and 2024 then this is what you would expect from the iPhone XR in the latest iOS 17 update. The iPhone SE 2020 did well beside the small battery capacity. Still, you would be able to get around 5.5 hour battery life with heavy usage after the latest iOS 17 update, which is quite good. The 10s Max ended up at 6 hours with 87% battery health, and I must say, being a 5 years old iPhone, 6 hours is astonishing performance, and you should definitely appreciate this model. Even after the iOS 17, you should expect 6 hour battery life if the battery health is around 85%. And this tiny iPhone really impressed me with 94% battery health. We got nearly 7 hours battery life, which is really impressive and it's totally recommended to social users and camera lovers. Well, the battle was tight, but the iPhone 11 got around 30 minute extra battery life. As we have seen before, iPhone 11 battery life is slightly better than the iPhone 12 basic model and it has just proved it again. But anyway, if you can still get more than 6 hour battery life, then it's still worth buying and recommend it to gamers as well. And here comes another tiny one, iPhone 13 mini compete very well against the big brothers as we got almost 7 hours battery life which is just a tiny beast. The iPhone 11 Pro and 12 Pro also perform well on the latest update. If you are thinking to get this model in 2023 and as well as in 2024, just make sure the battery health should be around 85% or more than that so you should be able to get more than 6 hour battery life with heavy usage. And here we go, iPhone 13 and 14 series basic models was side by side but the iPhone 14 just smashed the iPhone 13 model with almost 30 minutes battery life but to be honest, 8.5 hours battery life is far better, you just won't be able to bring them to 0 from 100 in a whole. So that's it, hopefully you would have enjoyed this video, just make sure to hit that subscribe and like button, also share this video with your friends, I would like to hear your opinions in the comment section as well down below, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.